Okay, so 2010 Barfendel. Mm -hmm. So the conversation that's going around this wine is the Barfendel is, is curiously moving, different every year. Always a great food wine. This is the first vintage to be Barbera based, which is was the origin of Barfendel, but never in a bottle was it Barbera based. It's curious. It's a fantastic food wine but it, it does move every year and we do blend to what we believe to be the best vintage to vintage and in, in this vintage we felt the barbera should take the lead so it does and the acidity and the brightness and the vibrance of this wine it just really really needs food i mean it's not a wine that i think that i i enjoy i know i don't drink by itself it's got to be with food. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Preferably something Italian, I would suppose. Yeah, yeah and, and I think that to show the actual character in the wine, maybe we go right to a classic dish and do the Osso Buco with the risotto milanese because the saffron in the risotto milanese really brings up the character of the wine as well. And let that be kind of the tapestry for it and let the flavors of this just bounce around it because there's great flavor to here, and there's actually that classic Barbaresco hint of banana peel in it, which is a great character. I think it's going to age well more than anything else. I think it's a great wine to sell her. I think that this is an incredible character. Having, said, having said all that, I'm kind of enjoying it by itself right now, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Cheers. 